Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And we have done quite a few setups. It's actually been a while because, well, prices got kind of crazy, but yeah, we now have the cheapest setup we have brought to you so far. This is a $150 setup and it features the $80 computer. So yeah, this was an entire bundle I bought off of eBay and all we really did was slap in a GPU and eventually an SSD into this system, making for a, well, pretty capable office setup, but is it actually something you want to get for gaming? Well, we're about to find out, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by App My Site, a no coding required service that helps you create an awesome mobile app within minutes by using its super easy app builder that doesn't require any technical experience and can also convert any existing website into a mobile app, allowing you to unlock a whole new source of traffic for your business or brand. You can start building your app today by checking the link in the description down below to learn more. And special thanks again to App My Site for sponsoring today's video. So, as Matt said, we bought this off of eBay and normally you would buy it just as is and use it as is for an office PC because well if you go to Walmart, Best Buy, any of those places right now, you're probably looking at around four to five hundred dollars just to get the computer itself, not including all the peripherals. So for under 125 bucks, being able to get this full setup is pretty nice. Now, of course, Toasty Bros, you know, we're all about gaming. We had to add a graphics card into that, but we did do the cheapest graphics card possible. And I mean, go any lower, you're not gonna play games at all with this thing, you can barely play games. So this is just a disclaimer. We're not trying to sell you on this thing. Oh, this is an awesome gaming setup. This is more of a, you have 150 bucks to your name. What do you wanna buy with it? And most likely we would recommend you save up your money to get something a bit better. But for the sake of science and for the sake of us, making YouTube videos. We just wanted to see what $150 can get you in gaming and this is what it is. So let's just go over this PC real quick for those who forgot about it or didn't see that video and then talk about everything else it came with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so to go over this gaming PC, this is a Dell Optiplex 7010, meaning you have a third or fourth gen processor in here. In this one, we happen to have gotten an i5-3470. So that's a four core, four thread under a pretty nice beefy cooler. We got four sticks of RAM that are rubber banded in, which you've never seen before, but it's a two gig stick, so eight gigs total. This little guy right here is a R5-240 and it has one gig of VRAM, so not a whole lot to work with. We do have a 500 gig hard drive, which just originally came with. We decided to add an SSD, which what size? It was a like 250 gig. 256? Yeah, 256. 256 gig SSD sitting under this drive because to be honest, this hard drive was like awful. I mean, like there's like no other way of spinning it. Even for office work, this would have sucked. So it's one of those things where we're trying to go bare minimum, but if you can afford the extra 20 to $40, like please get an SSD. You will thank yourself. You will thank everyone who has told you to buy an SSD. But yeah, pretty basic system. <laughs> okay, so what we have right here is a Dell monitor, and um, if you guys keep seeing this picture throughout our videos, it's because my Microsoft account now has it as the background, and every single thing we sign into that account, here it is. So we're just gonna stick with it, but I believe this is just a 22-inch monitor. That's all they advertise it as, a 22-inch. They say this is A-grade, but it did show up with the power button, like, <laughs> barely. I don't know, is it functional? It might have happened in shit. Oh, God, now oh. it's never coming back on. Maybe it'll come back on. Okay, it comes back on, but look, it's auto-adjust. But yeah, it's not in the greatest condition, but that could have been shipping. Let's look at the resolution here because that's the beauty of this. Yeah, it's not a great monitor. You could get like a 1080p monitor new. Get a loose super performance it's though. It's actually going to let me see what resolution <laughs> we're running super at. performance just with this monitor though. Yeah, you know, we're just going to keep the mystery going. <laughs> uh, that's not the most optimal way to do anything. We're going to keep mystery going, but it's a lower resolution. I'm going to guess it's a 1024 by 768 monitor. Yeah, we're going to go with that. And that low resolution allows us to get more FPS with that R5 240. And uh, I mean, is there really anything to say about this stuff? This is all <laughs> Dell OEM stuff. So this actually, uh, uh, popped up in Windows as a Dell silent keyboard. Let's see if it's actually silent. Pretty membrane. It's pretty membrane, so it's as silent as membrane's gonna get. Um, we did throw in this mouse pad right here. Um, this AMD <laughs> <be> Ryzen upside down <laughs> mouse pad because we needed something to actually use the mouse with. So add a five bucks or something, or just go to your local Goodwill. You probably find a mouse pad somewhere that has been way too used. So just be careful with that. Um, and then the Dell mouse is just the standard uh, laser mouse. So yeah, I mean, it's a setup. It's good for office work, but of course here at Toasty Bros, we gotta see if it can game and we're gonna test Fortnite, Left 4 Dead 2 and Valorant. And if you wanna see some more extensive benchmarks on this PC, check out the main video on it because we did even more games over there. So let's game on this setup. All right, guys, we are testing out Valorant, which is definitely a perfect scenario of what this computer would actually be capable of. And this is like all low settings. Um, normally we would just do like a little quick, you know, death match, but uh, yeah, here we are. Instead, we're in an actual unrated accidentally. 
So, uh, real game. We'll, we'll see how long this goes. Maybe we can make another team forfeit because we'll just be so good. He could be. I mean, you're getting 100 plus FPS. Valorant does run on pretty much anything, uh, especially when you're running at 720p on this monitor. But yeah, those uh, frame times are pretty good too. It doesn't feel laggy. <laughs> well, maybe you'll forfeit. God. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly around the corner and just absolutely decimate them. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh. what is this mouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you literally can't. Look at that. You have to just exit the desktop. All right, next game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, Fortnite gamers. Look at this, 720p performance mode. The way Fortnite is meant to be played, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to tilt the towers. And uh, yeah, I mean, we did test this at 720p um, before on Windows 11, and I, I believe it actually kind of got worse performance. So there's kind of a diminishing return with Windows 11, especially with this older hardware. You're better off just sticking with Windows 10 until it is unsupported, to be honest, if you want to get maximum performance out of this hardware. But we are still struggling to maintain 60 on the drop, but that, that doesn't really say that much, you know, because Fortnite's kind of weird. So we're going to land. And uh, hopefully we can kill somebody. And keep in mind, for the speakers, as you might be able to tell, we are using the speakers built into the Optiplex. Not the monitor, the Optiplex. So the textures look immaculate. I've never seen Fortnite look so good. But we are getting 60 plus FPS now, so. And I just hit that guy. I really don't know how I hit him. I felt like I didn't, but. <laughs> I see that guy, but I swear I'm leaning in right now and I, I'm not 100% sure if I actually shot at a person. Not 100% sure. We did realize this monitor goes all the way up to 1600 by 900 if you wanted to. So, I mean, yeah, that's more resolution, but performance definitely will suffer. Um, if you're running on a 22 inch screen, 720p it looks much better than like some like bigger 24 inch or 27 inch monitor that would definitely show a lot more pixels. But yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely keep it a 720p in terms of performance. What the heck was that? Thank you for for giving me a kill. That was that was a very weird encounter, but thank you very much. The frame times are pretty decent too. Um, I I can confirm Jackson's uh, theories with this mouse. Um, <laughs> it's it's not one I would really recommend, but you know you what? Buy it. it is what it is. But he really nearly destroyed. Oh, he's like. <laughs> I touched fire and I died. That's it. Oh, what is what, what is going on here? But Fortnite, yeah. The FPS was better than I thought it would be, actually. And uh, I really do think I gimped the system pretty bad when I uh, went Windows 11 instead of uh, Windows 10. So, yeah, it, it's definitely doing a lot better performance-wise. But, yeah, let's try a classic game. A game that's classic that you would play on an Optiplex like this. And that is, well, Left 4 Dead 2. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is Left 4 Dead 2. Uh. We have a 60 FPS cap right now, but yeah. um, we're not really reaching that too often, and we're all dinosaurs. But don't worry about that. So any, anyways, uh, ooh, Left 4 Dead brings back some good memories though. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the whole point of this is uh, when you have an office PC like this, you kind of get creative with the kind of games you can play and playing older titles like this, even though as you see, the FPS still does dip with that R5 240. Um, you can still have a fun time playing with your friends. Like Left 4 Dead 2 is a game we played a lot when we were younger God, and uh, you can have a pretty good time with it. Ah! Well, that's Left 4 Dead. Oh my God, the teammate just, Oh, that was the zone. I think the teammates are following me. It's the new Jurassic World. That is oh, the new they Jurassic did World. follow me. They're all hanging on the edge. Da, da, da. It's running again. But yeah, that is the $150 setup, ladies and gentlemen. It's mainly an office setup. Let's be realistic here. But if you can play older games like this, I mean, technically you can do some gaming on the side. Uh, let's just grab this video up real quick. Uh, don't do don't the Rochelle's. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking the full setup, and it definitely has some improvements to be made. Now, for $150, expect some serious sacrifices. I mean, $150, and you're playing games on a full setup. So, of course, there is going to be a lot of quirks, a lot of weird things about it, but overall, for $150, I mean, I guess what more could you ask for? And also, it's $150 with very minimal effort. You don't have to go hunting for anything. It just works. You can just go on a website, buy it, slap in a graphics card, and you're good to go. So. If you want to uh, learn more about this setup and maybe pick one up for yourself, check the link in the description down below. We'll be an affiliate link will help us out and let us know what else you want to do in the setup realm. What else you want to do? What else you want us to do in the setup <laughs> realm? Maybe we'll do a higher end setup. Maybe we'll do more like a mid range setup with a real gaming PC. We'll find out. Let us know down below or that, whatever he just do with that. <laughs> so as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
In case you guys didn't know, we actually have a PC selling business where we sell computers like this and ones that are way miles ahead better. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout to save 2%. I don't know what that was. Don't be like Zach and use TB2, because that's not yeah, it. Yeah, that's not the right code. It's TOSIBROS2. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.